Hey, my name is Failsafe and I'll be giving my impressions and first looks at the Zeus F722 Mini and Zeus F722 Flight Controllers by um, HGLRC. So they're both DJI compatible and yeah, let's get straight into it. So my first um, thoughts of this, why well, it flies really well. The gyro traces look amazing on it, uh, very clean. Um, the in terms of like the manual, everything, the setup, the soldering, it's got massive pads, it's got conformal coating, it's very user friendly um, in terms of like the changing the LED colours and if you want to add that it's about £10 to buy LEDs. But Uh, it's got sockets for DJI, sockets for LEDs and sockets for the GPS. The things I like about it, well, it's got um, pads on it, on the board. We can solder directly your receiver and also your VTX. If you have a TBS Unify, a uh, small VTX that goes on it, you can just solder directly on this, which is really cool. And you, you kind of see that in quite expensive flight controllers like um, the, what's it called, the FETEC F7. Um, flight controllers you get that on them um, so it's nice to see that on small cheap board um, and although it's cheap it, it, it performed really really well I didn't notice a difference it, I didn't look, see a difference really in comparison to my Mamba one but overall it, it, the F7 processor on it makes it so much future proof and it, it only used about 5% CPU on idle uh, just sitting there on the bench which is better than my Mamba my Mamba was using about 20% so it just shows you how powerful the CPU is, the F7. It just runs a lot, you know, a lot better, I think. Um, another thing is the GPS. Now, the GPS, uh, the one that they sell, about £10, is the M8 GPS. It cut out for some reason. Like, it keeps cutting out. I'm not sure why. It, it would, it, I didn't have any flight footage of this, I don't think. Although, I might put it up here if I have any. But it would just go to zero satellites occasionally. I'm like, wait, what, what? And that won't be good if you're doing a GPS rescue. That would not be good. It would just drop. So I wouldn't. I would completely avoid this one, to be honest. And I would go for a more uh, expensive one if you're going to plan on doing this. As I don't think it's that accurate um, actually, and it just took forever to boot up. And apparently the, the M8 it doesn't. Apparently the newer ones, the M8N or something, they can receive more satellites and stuff. So. I would, but I would get the M8N or the next one up from this, as it will probably be more reliable and will uh, receive more satellites from what I've seen on uh, various forums and stuff. So yeah, that has been the DJI F722, uh, the main big boy. Um, so overall, things I like about it, well, I've already listed them. Things I don't like, I would say that. The uh, USB-C port on it. If it was flipped up the other way, it would actually fit better, I think, within most flight control, uh, most stacks. As you've got the EC on the bottom, and you can solder the motors to the EC. And what happens is, is the actual solder uh, blobs on it, where you connect the wires, it kind of gets in the way of the USB-C port. That makes it a bit harder to get the USB-C port in. So if you can swap the USB-C to the top of the board, like most flight controllers now. I feel like that would be a better uh, location for it. And uh, so, yeah, it's a very nice flight controller. I would def definitely buy it again. Um, so in terms of the F722 Mini, I haven't done a lot of testing. I've plugged it into Beta Flight. It works very well. It seems to work very well. So I can't really test that out really. But from what I see on Beta Flight and f f looking at the manual, looking at the documentation of it, it is very good. Uh, the documentation is very good, the, the labels and the diagram are very well laid out. I'll put a picture now of the diagram. 
Uh, it's got a manual, you can download a PDF manual online, you can just download that, which works very well. And yeah, another thing actually with the F722 is that the LED sockets on them only work with a built-in LED controller, you can't control it via Betaflight. And this wasn't very, very well documented, so in future I'd like to see more do documentation about the LEDs and how you get to work with Betaflight. As it took uh, me to watch a guy on YouTube to figure out how to use them with the Vita Flight. So it would be nice for that to be included with the manual. Yeah, it would just be a lot easier. So yeah, that's been my review really. If you want any proper like specs or whatever, look on the website. It's very well documented and you can grab all your information there. But this was just a first impressions review sort of thing of it. And overall they've been very good and I'm very happy to own them, have them in my drone. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you next time.